The app that we're going to talk about now, which is one that probably most parents are not aware of, or, or teachers would say that but, um, in mind, but students absolutely are aware of, is iMessage. So on the um, I'll, on most iDevices, or all iDevices these days, there's a um, button called Messages here. And what that is, is the ability to send messages between um, different iPads, different iPhones, and other phones just generically from this app. So it's an app that's built into Apple's um, operating system. It comes with it. You would have to moderate it and restrict it if you didn't want it to be that way. Um, and if you have a look here, I've got a message from Louise Sharp saying that she's sick, um, but she needs my postal address for something else. Um, and I couldn't remember my, um, my postcode. Now, this was sent from her phone, just like a normal message would be, but it arrived on my iPad like like any other message would. Um, because I've got my, um, my messages set up um, so that it sort of happens this way. I could then type in, say, my contacts here. If I typed in Sky, um, I would see here that it gives me the ability to see Sky Moroni's mobile, and it would give me his details, and it would give me this bubble here, which means that it's going to be sent as a blue bubble, which means that it's actually going from my data instead of my, through the Telstra's carrier se settings. So going from my data to his phone's data. So now if I typed in here, um, hey, I'm doing a demo, please be nice. And I send a message. It will send a message to him um, with that on there through the data plan. So it's not using up your credit. Um, and he should get that in a couple of seconds. There can be a little bit of delay, but not really. Um, and so that'll be something that we can put in there. I can search for my contacts list. I can actually get his information as well. Um, I could then send that as an email or delete certain parts of his messages. Um, I could clear the whole conversation. But you, would you like that? Um, and so this guy sent me a message back. And so I would go, no thanks, um, but later, coffee. And so on his screen at the moment that he'd be receiving a three dots, like it's going to happen to mine, um, is on the mine at the moment, he's going to reply to me and it's going to have three dots saying that he's writing me a message, just like it is there. Um, and I'm going to ask him what, how much do you love iMessage? Remember the question mark, go okay, send. So in other words, what that's now the principle of this conversation needs to be he's probably replying either from his computer from his iphone from his ipad you'd be sending it to whatever device he's using at the time or all three so iMessages work in a very simple way um by you know sort of um so, sort of like utilizing all different parts and making sure conversations can happen anywhere so this reply because i'm sending it from this device it's only going to this but if he was to send me a message back later on, it would go to my iPhone and my iPad and my other iPad. And as soon as I replied on one of the devices, it would only use that one to send the message to. So it would start to tr draw, you know, some, um, some ideas around that. So iMessage is great. I can send photos, um, through it. I can, I can use all sorts of different functions inside here, but also it'll come up as an alert. So if I close that out, um, and say I'm working on something. This is where we talked about notifications earlier. Um, it really makes a big difference that he could send me a message and alert me, you know, just for sort of whatever it is um, and however it works. So you just need to make sure that you're managing that sort of, you know, environment. Um, but that's iMessage in a nutshell. Um, so, you know, he's sort of put up his um, answer there. So that's iMessage.